Thank you, Adam. Just when hair and nail salons were allowed to reopen, one local salon now faced with a setback. Someone vandalized and stole from their property. The night team's Jaffney Gray shows us the damage at the Empire Beauty Bar and how this has affected the owner's livelihood. This was how the Empire Beauty Bar looked before Mother's Day, clean and ready for business. This is what the owner, Antoinette Gomez, walked into Monday when her landlord called, informing her that her property was both vandalized. They went through my, in my pedicure chair. And burglarized. We had our TV was stolen from us, um, all kind of nail products, um, various electronic equipment. Already struggling after being shut down since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, Gomez says her joy of opening was short lived. You have no idea like how hard that's been on me. It, it just it tears me up. When I look at my kids, it tears me up. She says the way her salon was left was worse than anything the suspect could have ever stolen. Every wire that you can think of. I mean, he either yanked, cut, it's a, it is an invasion of my privacy. This morning when she and her husband came to clean the salon, she said police were arresting the suspect on the spot. That's how he got caught, was coming back at the wee hours in the morning, yet again, not afraid. What if I would have been here with my children? Not only did they steal things like product, electronics, expensive drills, but they had the audacity to steal Jesus. In total, Gomez says she is looking at about $5,000 worth of damage. It's hard to believe that one person did this, so I would hate to think that there's still somebody out there that's like, don't worry, I'll pick up where you left off. She hopes this encourages other small business owners to look after each other and to the suspect. You are hurting people. You're hurting people like deep in the heart. Like this is our lives here. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.